man, I didn't think, uh, I thought it would be easy to just start talking here, but I guess not. Um, you guys know who I am by now, Brian Sapinski, uh, Lost Silver Productions. Um, though I know we don't really get into this uh, side of things, you know, very often on either game show talk fun or convention attention. Uh, but I just, um, those, you know, people that really know me outside of the, outside of all that war and stuff, you know, know that I'm a huge uh, professional wrestling fan. I'll, I'll always make, you know, comments or occasions, at least nowadays, uh, when watching Monday Night Raw and stuff like that. And obviously by now everybody's heard about the, the news of the passing of the legendary uh, announcer and manager, uh, Bobby the Brain Heenan. He passed away at the age of 73 uh, earlier today. And it's, yeah, no, it's, it's just, it's really crushing because, yeah, obviously a lot of people um, know that and have said many times over uh, that he is you know, literally one of, you know, the funniest and the, the greatest minds that has ever existed in all of uh, professional wrestling. And he proved that in his years in WWE, formerly WWF, of course, and in WCW. And, and it's like, I didn't obviously appreciate, you know, the, you know, the humor grow, you know, growing up and stuff like that. But it's like, over the years as I watched certain things over and over again, because I had a lot of tapes of like uh, WrestleManias and other stuff from the past uh, that I used to, you know, watch a bunch over and over. And uh, I started to really understand the humor before, you know, or at least then and yeah, get a better appreciation for it. And I know everybody's got a lot of, you know, favorite, you know, quotes with regards to Bobby Heen. And I know, uh, of course it, you know, calling the people humanoids and, uh, you know, his, you know, trademark line, everybody knows him for a friend in need is a pest. But uh, I got to say that just personally for myself, I just thought I'd share this. Like I said, I think probably my favorite night in just in general, in terms of, you know, with Bobby Heenan would have to be uh, WrestleMania 8 in the spring of 1992, uh, working as he always did with, uh, you know, the late great Gorilla Monsoon, who the two of them were, you know, just the best, you know, comedic tandem in, in a sense or whatever, you know, you know, Gorilla playing the straight man, all of Heenan's jokes. And I never thought that Heenan was more on point with his, you know, humor and, it, you know, his barbs on a single night compared to, you know, WrestleMania 8, some of the favorites that I, I personally had from that night. And, uh, you know, I just remember, like, in, in the, the the first match, I mean, some, some of these, some of these now, um, I'm just, just to make sure I hold true to the, uh, to what the lines were, um, you know, talking about uh, Shawn Michaels and Sensational Cher, you know, she is in love with that man. Yeah, but is the feeling mutual? Pardon? Is the feeling mutual? Oh, well, what do you think? She, She's there, isn't she? He doesn't allow any bim, uh, woman to be there. Bimbo, did you say bimbo? No, I didn't say that. I coughed. I said, <clears throat> And then later in that same match when Tito Santana hits uh, Shawn Michaels with his flying forearm finisher, you know, Gorilla's like, There it is! El Paso del Norte! What did you say that move was? Extra hot pace picante? Will you stop? Of course, yeah, Gorilla always with his all oh, please and will you stop uh, comebacks or whatever. And, uh, you know, later in the night, uh, Tatanka is, you know, wrestling or whatever. And uh, he goes and asks Bobby, all right, did you say hi to Tatanka earlier today? Yes. Did you say it properly? Yes. You said, hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? <laughs> Political correctness or incorrectness at its finest, right? Um, please, no, no uh, hateful mail to, again, understand. This was 25 years ago. You know, just understand the time and the place. But the best, um, uh, or even, let's see, there was an eight-man tag going on where uh, there, 
it reached a point where all eight men were brawling in in the ring or whatever. And, uh, you know, Gorilla's like, I'm not sure who the legal man is anymore. Danny Davis, the referee. <laughs> hey, he was right, wasn't he? But probably the best uh, match that uh, he called, that, or that both of them called all night, was the Eric Cano title match between uh, champion Rowdy Roddy Piper and uh, Bret Hart. Uh, just a whole bunch of he had a whole bunch of zingers you know during during that whole thing yeah uh just like even at the beginning of, of the matchup you know that show of sportsmanship the respect for each other the enthusiasm they have makes me sick <laughs> what would you do if you were the hitman in this match well i'd have my agent buy it for me oh please and if that didn't work i'd take him out back and waffle him with a tire iron <laughs> what well, at one point in the match, I remember when I was champion monsoon. Champion of what? The neighborhood. Huh. Had the prettiest stay on the block that whole month. Ah, uh, you should have seen her. The only gold you've ever had was in your teeth. No gold in my teeth. You think I'm Japanese? And then the classic line from Heenan in that match. The referee got got knocked out. You know. Brett's down. He, you know, he's, you know, you know, bloody in the forehead or whatever. Piper, you know, is like he can't figure out how to put Hitman away. He goes outside. He grabs the the, the timekeeper's bell and brings it to the ring. He's got it raised over his head. He's trying. He's, you know, gonna clobber, you know, Brett with it and while he's all pro and stuff like that. And he's like hearing Piper's hearing the screams of the crowd and and like, you know, he's wondering if, all of a sudden if he should do it. You know, Gorilla even says, he's having second thoughts. And he is just screaming. He just goes, this is my favorite line of all time. Use it. Use it. Waffle him with it. Remember that old saying, what the hell? Use the bell. <laughs> I, just, I lose it to this day just thinking of that line. It's just absolute classic. It's just the two of them together. It's just the, you know, the, you know, the complete best. And I tell you. When Gorilla Monsoon passed away in 1999, and they were, and by that time, of course, you know, Heenan was long gone from WWF. He was in WCW on Monday nights on Monday Nitro, and uh, he and Tony Schiavone, they took a moment during the, the course of the Monday Nitro following Monsoon's passing and acknowledged, you know, the death or whatever, and... You know, Heenan's parting words, you know, to, you know, to Gorilla were, were best or whatever. You know, you know the pearly gates in heaven? They're now going to call it the Gorilla position in reference to the, you know, right before you come out the curtains in, in the back or whatever. And, hey, no more touching words spoken. And now, you know, I hope that now they're, they're both with each other in heaven, uh, you know, keeping each other entertained and, and hey, that's, I don't, I don't know what else to say. There's just no, no greater announcer in this business other than, than Bobby Heenan. And uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys who are, uh, you know, professional wrestling fans, you know, to this day, th you know, think the same thing. So that ends, I guess that's pretty much it. So just, uh, you know, keep you know, keep watching. Uh, even if it's difficult to watch WWE these days, and I know, well, that's another story for another time. Maybe we'll talk about a future convention attention. Who knows? Um, but I guess that's it. So, Bobby, you will be missed forever and ever. So, take care, Brain. Yeah, no we no weasels here in the world anymore without you. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>